Ty, let's talk a little bit about more about foods and, and genetically modified foods. Yep. We hear a lot about potential dangers. and Is there a concern? If so, why and where? Yeah, the, the concern with genetically modified foods, the potential dangers is, well, number one, we don't know what it's going to do to us. So we're kind of like the guinea pigs. Mm. Uh, a lot of other things have been tested on animals first, mm. you know, like with the aspartame. They tested sure. it on animals and it was killing them. So they approved it and put it in our foods. But with genetically modified foods, they've not done a lot of testing. Now, they have done some testing, like on genetically modified corn and soy. They've tested those, and they've showed that by the third generation in hamsters, it caused them to be sterile. That's a concern to me. Mm -hmm. you know, it should be a concern to you, too, if you want to be a great granddad. <laughs> you know, shouldn't be, mm -hmm. Should you be feeding this to your kids? If, because they, they test them on hamsters because their life cycle is so much shorter. They can see what's mm -hmm. it going to do to their kids and their grandkids, or hamsters and grand hamsters. Sure. So they test them on those. But uh, they haven't done a lot of testing on, on genetically modified foods because it's not just corn and soy. Mm -hmm. We've got a lot of other genetically modified foods. You know, tomatoes are genetically modified. Alfalfa is now genetically modified. Wheat's genetically modified. We've got a lot of foods that are genetically modified. We don't know what it's going to do to us. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's a main concern for me is we, do, we don't know, and I don't really like being the guinea pig. And when you take, a, when you take the, the, uh, the DNA or the genetic structure of these foods and you modify them, you know, look at genetically modified soy. It's got the ra Roundup Ready soy. So basically it means you can spray it with all, the, all of the, the uh, pesticides you want. It won't kill it. Mm -hmm. Can that be good for us? Can these things be good for us? You know, maybe they had a noble, gar uh, noble intention in, in, in mind to start with. Mm -hmm. We're going to feed the world. Again, that's for debate. That's up for debate. But let's say that they wanted to feed the world. Is, is feeding the world foods with with uh, properties that will kill them a noble thing I, I don't think so I think we go back and I had a, I did an interview with Joel Salatin I don't know if you're familiar with him um, family friendly farming and he's done he, he has shown that with by creating these small farms that feed your local neighborhoods across the, the country we could actually feed the world with organic grass-fed meats organic produce pastured hens and have plenty of food to spare you don't hear that, though. Mm -hmm. You hear, if we don't genetically modify our food, everyone's going to starve. That's not the truth. That's not the mm -hmm. truth at all. And, and along the same lines of a genetically modified food, there's a big push uh, currently to get those foods labeled. Yeah. Can you talk about that process yeah. and, and, and mm -hmm. the, the headbutting, I, I would imagine, that's going on? Between there, yeah, there is a lot of headbutting because Monsanto doesn't want them labeled. Mm -hmm. And so if genetically modified foods are harmless, why don't they want them labeled? If they're so good for us, mm -hmm. like Monsanto is saying, I, I mean, I would think if I had a product that was so good for us that it's going to feed the world and there's no problems with it, I would tell everybody. Mm -hmm. I want my stuff labeled because I want them to know that I put it in there and it's good and it's going to help feed the world. But get, Monsanto is the main uh, proponent of getting these GM foods labeled. Mm -hmm. And why would you think that is? Could it be that they're not as good for us as they're telling us? Mm -hmm. And that's why. And, and Monsanto knows that if folks know that genetically modified uh, corn or soy or other foods are in these products, a lot of them are going to quit buying it. That's why they don't want to get them labeled. And you should see the list. Mike Adams on Natural News posted mm -hmm. an article a couple weeks ago. I reprinted it in my last newsletter on my website about, and I think it was called Stabbed in the Heart. And it goes through all these lists of what we think are natural, holistic companies that, that have these uh, great organic foods that are all protesting the, gene the GMO labeling. And why would that be? Uh, the only my wife and I were talking about this a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. The only reason I can see is that they are using genetically modified foods in their products now, and if the labeling is required, they're gonna, these organic companies are then going to have to have, have to say that they're using genetically modified this or that in those products, mm -hmm. and it's not going to look so organic anymore. Because mm -hmm. right now they're using. The, I, I'm guessing, and this is just my speculation, they're already using these genetically modified grains. And, and, and other products in their, in their processed foods. Sure. Because, I mean, it, just because it's organic or all natural doesn't mean it's good for you. And you have all these organic, natural brands that have all these processed foods. I don't care if they're organic or not. They're processed. They're probably crap. Mm -hmm. They're not good for you. And they probably, you know, the processed foods have all of the different rices and wheats and grains and soys and corns, may, you know, the, the, the uh, soy flour and the, the corn, high fructose corn syrup mm -hmm. and the corn meal, all these are fillers. And they, all of these organic processed foods have them in it. And so my guess is that they'll have to label them as genetically modified and it'll cut their sales. Mm -hmm. I may be wrong. I don't know.